In this video, we're going to do the most beautiful equation part 2. So the golden ratio of phi is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. That is the positive solution of x squared minus x minus 1 equals 0. So that can be solved with the quadratic formula. So now plugging in phi for x, we have phi squared minus phi minus 1 equals 0. Now we're going to divide by phi. So that will have, have the identity phi minus 1 minus 1 over phi equals 0. Moving the negative 1 over phi to the other side, leaving us with 1 over phi equals phi minus 1. So that's pretty interesting. So now we're going to move this phi to the other side, leaving us with phi to the minus 1 minus 0. You'll see why in a second, or maybe a couple minutes, I don't know. Minus phi, that'll be equal to minus 1. So that will be our first equation. So now what we're going to do is divide by phi leaving us with phi to the minus 1, minus 1, minus 1 equals minus 1 over phi. But from the first little equation we have, that would be 1 minus phi. Similar thing, move the minus phi to the other side, leaving us with phi to the minus 1, minus 1 plus phi equals 1 plus 1 is 2. So that is our second equation. First equation will be n equals 0. The second equation will be n equals 1 case. So this will be n equals 0. This will be n equals 1. Divide by phi again, leaving us with phi to the minus 1 minus 2 plus 1 equals 2 over phi. But that will be 2 times phi minus 1, which is 2 phi minus 2. Move the 2 phi to the other side, leaving us with phi to the minus 1 minus 2 minus 2 phi equals minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. So that is our third equation with n equals 2. So let's do that again. So we're going to divide by phi, leaving us with phi to the minus 1 minus 3. And then we're going to have minus 2 equals minus 3 over phi. So that'll be 3 minus 3 phi. Moving the minus 3 phi to the other side, leaving us with phi to the minus 1 minus 3 plus 3 phi equals 3 plus 2 is 5. So that would be our fourth equation with n equals 3. Doing this one more time just to show how you do it, you have phi to the minus 1 minus 4 plus 3 equals 5 over phi, which is 5, phi, 5 minus 5, minus the 5, phi to the other side, leaving us with phi to the minus 1 minus 4 minus 5 phi equals minus 5 minus 3 is minus 8. So that'll be the last time we'll do this. So that'll be the n equals 4 case. So we're going to have phi, phi to the minus 1 minus n. And then we're going to define f of 0 being f of 1 being 1. And f of n plus 2 is f of n plus 1 plus f of n, just n. So this will be the Fibonacci sequence. Sequence, yeah. So this will be. So what else do we need? So we have the negative. So we have plus negative one to the n power. So at n equals four, we're, this will be negative. So this needs to be n plus one because five negative one to the fifth power is negative one. And so we're, let's say f of two will be f of zero plus f of one, which is 2, f of 3, so this is the Fibonacci sequence, this would be 3, f of 4 is 5, f of 5 is 5 plus 3 is 8, and so on. So at, at n equals 4, this will be the Fibonacci sequence. At 4, but in that case, will be n. Then we have the 5, phi equals the same negative, n plus 1. And then we have the Fibonacci sequence at n equals 5 for this case. So f of 5 is 8, so this will be n plus 1. And finally, that is the end of the video, and this is a cool equation. Hope you enjoyed.